You know, the, one of the things that uh, really makes us or we enjoy this area are the people that have relocated here to this area because we have found that we have so many things in common. We have so many neighbors that have moved here because of the same reason. The people um, are the main thing that has uh, made a difference to us. We just feel like the people are the friendliest and the most welcoming people of anywhere that we have moved. Friendly is what this is all about. I have I have never been in a community that is so open and welcoming, and uh, we have we have just had a wonderful time. With all the discovery of uh, Lower Alabama, with all the development and everything that's going on, I live in a little slice of heaven right here that has not changed. You know, we don't have traffic. Um, you know, we don't have sirens wailing in the night all the time. Um, you know, we don't, we don't have uh, many of the things that, that would bother you living anywhere else. We absolutely did not make a mistake to make this move. I wouldn't, um, this is home. It, we've made wonderful friends. We still get to see our grandchildren and our children. It's not like that you leave them behind entirely, but it's, uh, they, they like it down here too, so they come and visit a lot. Most people that live here really enjoy living on uh, with the bays, the backwaters, uh, because you can do so much, so many more things. You can go swimming, you can dive, you can play off the piers, you can have your boat in your backyard. Back in these areas, it's really families. And you get back here, you find a real sense of community. If somebody has a problem, everybody kicks in. We're about a half mile from the cut through to the Gulf itself, if you want to go out deep sea fishing, and we're about three miles from the intercoastal waterway. So there's a lot of inland water here, so if you have a small boat like a runabout or something and are afraid of the Gulf, you can go for a long way. You can go from Mobile Bay clear to Pensacola without going on the outside and a lot of bays and uh, uh, cuts and bayous and things to explore. It's just a wonderful area and uh, for example my kids we go out in the afternoon take them snorkeling let them swim and fish in the water and then we'll have them sit out there and just let the boat drift in the wind and watch the sunset and they're all jumping off the boat and get climbing back in. Uh, it's safe no current back in here to bother you it's, it's just a wonderful place to have a family and, and the boating experience is just fantastic but again the kids fishing off the dock and jumping and playing it, it really warms your heart to watch that happen. This is Orange Beach, and we don't dress up. We just walk around in shorts and uh, and have a great time all the time, and, and that's typical Gulf Coast living. In and out of the area, there is just so much to do. You can be as busy as you want to. You can retire and re-retire and re-retire and become busy again. So that's pretty much what I've been up to. And as I said, I've been here now about 12 years, and uh, wouldn't think about going back to Connecticut and they all can keep the snow and ice up there. There is nothing in Michigan except for family that would draw us back. We have everything we need here. We we feel that this is this property is our little piece of heaven. are here because it's it is not the big city feel but it's close enough to that if you need it I think it's the diversity of people that we get here too you know any time of year you can go somewhere and you're gonna meet somebody new from somewhere else Paul and I both retired in 1999 
prior to that, we had been going to Daytona Beach, Myrtle Beach, lots of places. But then we had started coming down to Gulf Shores, and, and we really enjoyed Gulf Shores. But we always came to Foley to shop. We came to Foley to go to church. And everybody in Foley was so nice. When we decided to retire and move away from Cape Girardeau, Missouri, um, we decided that we would come to Foley and look around. We had met one couple down here on the times that we had come down to visit. And they took us out, showed us houses, and uh, so when Paul said, where do you want to move? I said, how about Foley? And he said, that's great. Uh, wanted to be close to Gulf Shores, but we wanted to live far enough away that we could just go down when we wanted to. And we found that that's perfect. And we love the area for the beauty, the lifestyle, what it uh, allows us to live, a lifestyle that would be almost impossible uh, in many other places of the world. There are so many hidden little areas and for instance many of the guests that we have the first thing they say is we had no idea this was even back here and I think that's typical of a lot of the areas down here on the river. When we hit here the, the water, the boating and was better than anything that we had ever seen and Jim said, I don't want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> the Greek islands are nice, been there, seen them, they were terrific. Uh, the beaches uh, in, in Europe are nice, but I'd compare the beaches and the beauty of Gulf Shores with anywhere in the world. We went to Waikiki, Hawaii and laughed when we saw the beaches there. Um, the white sand that we have on our beaches along the Gulf Coast here is actually quartz. And it's one of the few places in the world where you have that pure, white, fine sand. It's just beautiful.